Being green should be at the center of everything we do. And that's why you'll find it in the center of our logo for the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. We're proud of the road we've traveled to improve this dear green place, and in the run-up to the Games, we can be sure that when our friends from the Commonwealth arrive, they'll see a clean and vibrant city. By finding innovative ways to reduce, reuse and recycle, we are diverting more waste away from landfill, regenerating land that before would have been deemed unusable, transforming many existing venues and improving biodiversity, leaving a city we can be proud to live in and pass on to our children. We see the Commonwealth Games as an opportunity for transformational change, and although that's something Glasgow has been doing for centuries, from our humble beginnings by the Clyde, through the Industrial Revolution, to our more recent cultural renaissance, and our standing as a commercial capital of Scotland, now is a chance to make the biggest difference, to leave a positive sporting and regeneration legacy for generations to come. Take the Athletes Village, for example. Everything we have done in planning this new community has not only considered the environment, but also the people who will one day call these low-carbon houses their homes. But before then, we must ensure that our athletes are provided with an atmosphere that will enable them to perform at their best. And we believe that by providing a relaxed and pleasant environment outside of the sporting arenas, we will see more records broken inside them. They say it's what's inside that counts. And at the heart of our games is a small word with big ideas. Legacy. Put simply, we want to improve communities for life. Glasgow will benefit from world-class sports venues, hundreds of new homes and improved transport links providing sustainable access to the city centre. There will also be cycle paths and walkways to open in green spaces which will make healthy living a far easier choice to make. Making choices is something we are all faced with. And when we had to choose between building a new athletic stadium at great economic and environmental expense or cleverly adjusting our national stadium at Hamden to accommodate the Games, our conclusion was simple. The greenest choice was also the right choice. And that's why Hamden will bear witness to the world-class athletes competing for medals and attempting to break records on track and field. We think you'll agree we made the right decision for all our sakes. Another big decision we had to make was how to power the Games in as sustainable a manner as possible. Thankfully, Scotland is at the forefront of renewable energy. In fact, the world's first windmill producing electricity was built right here in 1887. Our wind energy farms will assist in powering Glasgow during the Games, but we can always go further. And that's why innovations like ground source heat pumps, community energy centres and energy efficient infrastructure are being designed into the Games venues to complement their stunning architecture. It's innovations like this that put Glasgow on the map all those hundreds of years ago. And it's with a view on the generations to come that we are continuing to innovate. Venues like the National Indoor Sports Arena and Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome not only reduce impact to the environment, but protect biodiversity too, by ensuring that rainwater is captured and filtered before reaching the River Clyde. Glasgow will have come a long way by 2014, and together with you, we're determined to go the distance so we can be sure that future generations enjoy our beautiful city for years to come. After all, if we get it right now for the Games, we'll leave a legacy for all of Glasgow to enjoy in the future. So, help us make the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games the most sustainable ever. Because it's in all our nature to be green. <laughs>